Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we are, I mean, still a little bit behind on the rebels, but we're making progress here and we should be able to get the rebels taken care of relatively soon-ish. That's what I'm going with, is relatively soon-ish. Okay, I'm just double checking around here. There's a 47k stack there. Yup. Okay, sounds good. We do need to get this location taken back because we need to raise our crownland ASAP. This is definitely something that needs to happen. So let's take this force over this direction and we'll take back this territory because we definitely need to reclaim our territory so that we can do that. Okay, we definitely need leadership if we're going to fight this force. I don't think this is going to go amazingly well. If I'm honest. I don't think we have the numbers. So instead, let's just pull back and we'll start working on moving another army up over that way so that we can properly... There we go, we'll attack there. So we can properly deal with that. And we are going to have more cores coming in soon enough, and our overextension will continue to drop. Wonderful, we did not have a single rebellion that particular month tick. That's a very good sign. This is still a bit of a problem over here. Let's go ahead and start moving the Asian fourth over this direction. We can do that. Wonderful. And we should be able to get all these rebels under control this episode in theory. Emphasis on the theory. Okay, so we had a rebellion over here. That is fine. These guys can deal with that on their way back. I'm not concerned about that one. And we'll go ahead and take back some territory over here. Wonderful, we cored an area. So that means that we're down to 78.4% overextension. We've gotten Kuba back. Let's go ahead and park these guys somewhere where they won't take attrition, because we are a little bit low on the manpower, and I would like to bank that back up. Wonderful. We'll have these guys come on down over this way and start taking back some territory. We won the Battle of Stockholm, as well as the battle over here. Both of those were expected. And we will attack over here. Excellent. It looks like this force is getting absolutely wrecked by these guys. Oh, these are Byzantine separatists. No wonder. Yeah, their Miltech is going to be garbage. Miltech 18. Yikes. Okay. These up here are French separatists, though, which means that their Miltech is going to be 23. And that is going to be a much, much more difficult problem to deal with. We'll go ahead and bring the European third up over this way. Wolgast has been reoccupied. That's fine. We're not too concerned about that. We just got Stockholm back. Wonderful. And we'll head on up over this direction. These guys are still working on occupying that territory. You guys can come on over here. Wonderful. And you can start taking back some territory as well. You're still c doing combat. Glorious combat, I might add. Actually, it's not that glorious. They're just wrecking some rebels. I'm just double checking that none of these need to be moved. These guys actually do. We're going to take the European second up over this way to provide reinforcements against these French separatists. And we do expect that to be a, a thing over here. We expect that. We won the Battle of Epirus. Perfect. We now occupy here. And we're going to bring these guys over this way because we are going to need to make our way around eventually. We'll get the Indian transports in over here. Excellent. We still can't core, of course, and we can't raise our crownland. I would love to raise our crownland right now. I'd also love for these guys to separate a bit, but they're not in our territory, so I guess that's okay. No rebels that month. We'll take that. And we will go ahead and take back this territory over here. These guys will move over here so that we're in position for this battle. Wonderful. Our amount of manpower is still going down a little bit right now. 
But we'll start banking manpower again pretty soon, realistically. We're making so much manpower. And I'd also like to work a bit on town halls. Excellent. Let's spend some money on that. That's a lot of town halls. It's actually a whole lot of town halls. Perhaps even a ludicrous number of town halls. <laughs> okay, how many more are we going to be able to make? Quite a number. Okay. Well, we'll get those started. These guys can go ahead and come over here and start taking back this territory. That will be fantastic. These guys are already in motion. And you guys can come up over here. Take back this territory. Wonderful. So this is well under control now. We have another rebellion spawning over here. That's fine. We will deal with that in just a moment. We just got this region back, so we will continue taking back territory over here. And we will take down that army. They are actually walking into us. We're going to put this leader in right here. They're already locked in. We're going to send in reinforcements. We should absolutely win this. This is in woods, so we're going to get a minus one dice roll for them attacking us. Their leader is spooky. There's no doubt about that. Byzantine separatists have crossed the border over here. That's fine. It looks like they're going into Byzantium. I'd be okay with this. And we're already doing quite well here. Shockingly well, actually, given the circumstances. I mean, they don't have that much of a backline, I suppose. So their fire phase is not that strong. Okay. So there's that dealt with. So we'll take these territories back, and we just finished converting. So we will, of course, convert somewhere else. We'll go for Toulon right now. Wonderful. And we will go grab this territory back as well. So we have a lot of manpower to replenish. There's no doubt about that. We're currently lacking 21,000 men, so we have enough in the pool. But likely not enough for the pool forever. Okay, we'll just push over this direction. That's fine. Byzantine separatists are occupying over here. This is to be expected. Wonderful. Let's check in down over this way. We need to attack over here. That looks all fine otherwise. So Africa appears to be under control. No more rebels this particular month tick. And we've occupied over here. We'll send these guys up over this way to recover. And these guys back down to their station to recover as well. Byzantine separatists are still being jerks over here. I suppose that's to be expected. We have occupied back over here, as well as over here, and these guys can head back to their station as well. Europe is actually fully under control right now. Just this area up over here in Scandinavia. Okay, more Byzantines being jerks over here. Eh, we expect that. Okay, so we're attacking over there. These guys will attack over here. And let's go ahead and revoke our military access over here. Just because I don't want to be paying a dip power every month for that. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Let's check in on our tech quick. We do need an admin tech. And that development and administrative efficiency would be pretty useful for us, actually. These guys are already attacking over here. These guys are doing the same. These guys are actually walking into Yazd, though. So we're going to wait for them to lock in. We did just take back this territory, so we'll grab this one quick. Okay, come on. You can lock in. There you go. Now we're going to take out this force. 
Yes, we expect that. We got Finmark back. We're going to send these guys back where they're taking less attrition, because that would be awful nice. Okay. Wonderful. Come up over this way. We'll just plant these guys up over here for now. Actually, we'll send them to go deal with this force. They're not really in a position to deal with them, although they're Byzantine separatists, so we can deal with that. Their tech is not a problem. Our colony over here finished. And that, of course, does mean that we have another colonist that we can't really do too much with. Actually, we can send a colonist over here now, because this is finished. That's fine. Technically, I think it's this one that finished, yeah. Okay. This is all wasteland, though. Actually, this one isn't. Well, that's where we're going. Okay, so we're still going to have an inactive colonist, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it'll have to do. Okay, we occupied over here. We're going to send these guys up to go cap back the fort over there. And we won this battle, so we're going to go cap back this region. Byzantine Separatists over here. That's fine. We'll deal with them soon enough. So the Asian second, or the Asian first, one or the other, really needs to make their way around this way. And I think we're going to send the Asian first to do it. And we'll leave the Asian second in this region. And we'll go attack Kashmir. Wonderful. And we'll need to take back some territory over here as well. But we are nearly done with our rebels. We're approaching completion. Which is excellent. And we're currently only needing 10,000 men to reinforce our armies, so we're going to be fine on that front. We definitely need to allow our... Actually, I want these guys to just park perhaps here. That'll do. Okay, as I was saying, we definitely need to replenish our manpower a little bit, but that's something that will just kind of passively happen realistically. And yeah... Byzantine rebels, we're going to have no problem dealing with those. We won the siege over here already, which is quite swift. We're going to backtrack a little bit over this way. We did just convert Mabada, and we will go ahead and convert here, I guess. That'll do. We're up to 67% religious unity right now. And in terms of our overextension... We are down to 68.7%, and we can actually start coring here now. Finally. We just got that back. So that's excellent. And we cannot currently seize Crown Land because we have fewer rebel armies than one and fewer rebel-controlled provinces than one. And I'm guessing what dropped our Crown Land was taking all of this land. That's my theory, anyway. But we'll just continue taking back these territories. Okay, mercenary companies, we kind of don't care. CB, we kind of don't care. And that is an Indian rebellion. Okay. It's slightly awkward. But I think... We're going to use this one. This is currently called the First Army. This should really be, what, the Asian Fifth? I think this is the Asian Fifth. Okay. So once that takes this region back, we're just going to leave this area for now. And we're going to come back to India. Since we had a rebellion pop there, we need to respond. These guys can go ahead and start pushing their way up towards this force. Excellent. And we're going to keep pushing our way down this direction. Excellent. How are we doing in terms of our actual rebel numbers? Okay, we definitely need to deal with this Killwall one. 
And that's because I keep forgetting to actually send troops to the various locations. But that's okay. We'll get that done soon enough. We can build a few more town halls. And so we shall. Excellent. A lot of these have zero possible buildings. Wonder why they're showing up. Wait, we can build it where they have zero buildings? Oh, right, because this is upgrading the courthouse. Okay. Well, we can go ahead and make a few states, so let's go ahead and do that for sure. We definitely need to make as many states as we possibly can. So let's go ahead and make Shirvan into a state, although we can't. Presumably because it's not fully reoccupied. In that case, let's just wait until we take back all this territory. Get these rebels put down. These guys are going to be awkward for us. I think there's no doubt about that. They're currently going to cross over here. Revolt over here. We'll deal with that. No problem. Okay, and we'll take back this territory. Wonderful. These are our Mongol separatists. I wonder if we can get them to come back. Be nice if we could. And yeah, this was expected. Unfortunate, but expected. Let's actually take the African Fourth over here. No. Please go by boat. <laughs> it would be so much faster. Let's take the African Fourth over here and respond to them that way. And these guys are coming up over this way, so they definitely need to be responded to by the Asian Third. Okay, Byzantine Separatists over there. That is fully expected. And we'll kill these Indian Separatists, specifically Mysorean Separatists. Okay, revolt over here and in Akershus. Akershus we can deal with quite easily. The revolt over here, we don't really have anybody super close to deal with it. I think we'll send up the African Fifth. Okay, excellent. We've put down the army in India. And we will go ahead and attack these guys. I don't even think we need a leader. They're Byzantine Separatists. Their military tech is pretty garbage. Okay. We're definitely making fantastic progress on this front. That front, of course, being the Rebellion Front. Merchants are calling for better trade protection. Uh, no. There's no reason to escalate that conflict. Yep, this is expected. French Separatists up here, but we'll deal with that. That is already dealt with. Akaba, yeah, that's going to be a thing. But the major Byzantine armies are now down. And we'll go ahead and bring the African Fourth back over here to Tunis. Please don't go by land. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> Please go by sea. Okay. There we go. They're actually going by sea now. So we will attack over here. These guys are kind of in motion. Or actually, no, this is their army over here. England is now considered a great power again, huh? We may have to do something about that. I'm not necessarily okay with England being a great power. Okay, let's go grab back Kilwan Separatists' last territory over here. These guys can come this direction. Actually, they don't need to. They can actually go back up over here. 
We can invest in an idea. This is a military idea. Morale of navies, that's not hugely impactful for us. We're five years ahead of time in our tech, and we're five years away from getting our tech. That's pretty dicey, realistically. I'd rather, at this point, get a dip tech, or rather get a dip idea. Indeed. That would be useful. Okay, we'll come over this direction with this force, and we'll also go ahead and get rid of this fort. This is a level 2 fort. Like, it does nothing at this point in the game. Excellent. So I think we have this extremely solidly under control right now. I would love to go attack these guys. If you will give me military access... They will. If you give me military access, I will kill our rebels for you. Excellent. We'll cancel that as soon as we're out of there. But I want these rebels dead. We've cored over here. That's perfect. What are we at in terms of our overextension? 57.4? Okay, a revolt in Tripoli. We will deal with that immediately. That is not a problem. And we've taken this back. We'll send them back to our capital. Perfect. So yeah, we'll just kill those rebels. We got another core. 28 January is when we will arrive, at which point we definitely want to cancel our military access here. Just as soon as we can. Battle of Tripoli, that was expected. Another core. And now we can cancel our military access. Wonderful. Funnily enough, they didn't get a uh, opinion bonus for that. I suppose because it's our rebels anyway. We could grab this dip tech. But should we? I feel like we hold off on it for right now. It gives us archipelago frigates, trade efficiency, okay, trade range, may corrupt officials, and grand shipyard, sure. But I feel like we just save the uh, dip power and don't grab it early. Our colony over here has become self-sustaining. Wonderful. And we actually... Whoa! Have no more Fog of War over here. Well, there's some tiny amounts. Interesting. That's very interesting because... That allows us to see, after we get this colony... We can start expanding over here pretty heavily again, without opposition, for a little bit anyway. We may want to think about doing something with Kree. They're allied with Cherokee, which is super awkward because Cherokee are in South America for reasons. <laughs> I don't know what those reasons are, but they're definitely there. Oh my. That's interesting. We also may want to attack Inca at some point. They're super duper weak. I've done the Sun God achievement. That was before I started doing my channel, and uh, that was exciting. So I know how to fight technologically superior opponents in that region. And the answer is guerrilla wars in these mountains. That's how you do it. Just attrition it up. So we would have to avoid that. Which would certainly be interesting. Okay, we can convert, and so we shall. Wonderful. And we are just about done with our rebellions. Are these the last provinces? That's Byzantium separatists.
This one will be the last province, I think. Let's head on over. Rebels that are close to enforcing demands. Okay, so we have a new revolt over here. We're going to put that down immediately, though. And these are, what rebels? Independence for Byzantium. But, oh, they have four? One, two. What other locations do they have occupied? Let's see, these two are Lakia and Mashad. Mashad, Maraga, Ermia, and Tabriz. I think... Oh, no, they only have the two. Right, right, right. Okay. Yep, so this should deal with it. Our governing cap is, of course, currently below 1600, and I do want to build a few more town halls. Wonderful. Keep that governing cap down. We got Lakia back. And we will position these guys somewhere around here, I think. And these guys can probably chill around here in Kiva. Okay, now we should have no more rebels, which means that we can increase our crownland. Let's just double check here. Yep, we look okay on seizing our land. Bam. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got Crownland up. That's a huge deal. Separatists over here. We'll deal with those immediately. We really don't care. We'll just take these guys over to the coast. So that they're not taking attrition. We've cored Shervan. And let's go ahead and start making some states, shall we? Let's see here. I'd love to make Shervan. And we'll core all those. I'd love to make Azerbaijan as well. We'll core all those. And we'll make Moldavia. And we'll core that. We'll make Mashad if we can. Ah, uh, we can't because it's not cored. Roger that. What are we currently at? We're currently at 1563. Okay, we'll wait for Mashad to get cored. Dagestan is now cored. And we still have... Oh, this is going to take a little bit. Okay. That actually put us in debt there. Let's go ahead and... Actually, we're making enough. We're going to come out of debt without having to debase our currency. That said, debasing our currency is still a good thing, right? I'm pretty sure it is. 183.29. Let's calculate this. 183.29 times 24 is 4,398.96 ducats. And we get... Okay, yep. That is about a profit of 700 ducats. It's getting lower. But it's still profitable to do that. That's fine. And we will put that money directly into town halls. Build all the town halls. Wonderful. And with that, our rebels are under control, and it is pretty much time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we will probably go back to overextending. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.